in the audience. Yes, I require the non-Muslim sister. Sister, are you a non-Muslim? Yes, I'm a Muslim, yes. and I really appreciate that you take a uh, question from a Muslim this occasion. So your name and your profession? Um, my name is Lisa Mizuno. I'm Japanese, and I am self-employed. I'm very young Islam, and I'm thinking to be a uh, Muslim in the future, inshallah. <laughs> Is that going to be seen if Muslim uh, follow the practice or culture in other religion? Um, let me be specific. In Japan, for example, wedding is uh, by uh, for uh, it, wedding is done by shrine, chapel. It's like uh, follow the Christian culture, follow the Shintoism culture, and also the funeral is taken in the temple is Buddhism, right? So I may have those conflict if I liberate. So I want your opinion on that matter. Thank you. Sister has asked a very important question. She said that if someone accepts Islam, can they practice the culture? And she gave example like going to the shrine, etc. The basic ruling sister is that in Islam, a person who is a Muslim can follow any culture as long as the culture does not go against the teachings of the Quran and the authentic hadith of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Mm. If that culture goes against the teaching of the Quran and the authentic hadith, that is the Sharia, that is the Islamic ruling, then it's not allowed. For example, wearing a suit, it's a Western culture. But there's no Quranic verse or hadith which says you cannot wear a suit. It's a it's Muba. Muba is a wearing a tie. There is no hadith or Quranic verse which says you cannot wear a tie. So wearing a tie and wearing a suit is optional. But for example, wearing shorts. Now in Islam, we cannot wear shorts because for the man, navel to the knee should be covered. A lady cannot wear short sleeve. A lady cannot keep the hair open. It's a Western culture. Because that culture goes again the teaching of Quran. Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 31, say to the believing woman that she should lower her gaze and guard her modesty. And draw the head covering over the bosom. So if that culture goes against the teaching of the Quran or the teachings of the Prophet, authentic teachings, then it is not allowed. But if it doesn't, you can. For example, you go to Malaysia, they have a culture of wearing a black hat. Okay, no problem. So any culture which doesn't go, for example, some people like noodles. Eating noodles is not compulsory in Islam, neither it is prohibited. Only food which is prohibited is not allowed. So, this is a general ruling. Now telling going to shrines. Now normally, if I go to shrine, a sightseeing, no problem. I've been to many shrines. I've been to the Shinto shrine also. I've been to Hindu temples. I've been to church. If I go for sightseeing or doing deal, my knowledge, no problem. But if I go to worship, somebody else besides Almighty God, it is shift. It is the biggest sin. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 48, and in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 116, that Allah, if He pleases, Almighty God, if He pleases, He may forgive any sin. But the sin of shirk, associating partners with God, He will never forgive. Means the biggest sin, number one in Islam, is associating partners with God, worshipping anyone besides Almighty God. So if you go to shrine for sightseeing, no problem. But if you go to worship, it is not allowed. So if you accept, but natural, you have to inform your relatives, slowly, slowly, slowly and nicely, inform them and give them same talk which I gave, does God exist? I know Shintoism is a religion of a plethora of gods, plethora of gods, or many gods. And Shinto is a means, way of gods. The translation is beautiful. But there are scholars in Shintoism who also agree that in the different types of Shintoism, one type believes in monotheistic form of one god. So you have to convince, you have to go and study about the religion and say, that even in Shintoism, there are some scholars who say that there is something like monotheistic form, though they are in minority. Like in Hinduism, they believe in many gods, but the scriptures clearly mention that there is one true God who has got no images. 
But in Shintoism, there are no scriptures. Like how we have in Quran, in Islam, Quran, in Hinduism, Veda, in, in, uh, in Bible and Christianity. In Shintoism, there is no fixed literature as the word of God. It is loosely, therefore Shintoism is many a time called an ethical system. And what Shintoism is trying to do, they are trying to bridge the gap between the modern Japanese and the traditional Japanese. It is more of an ethical system formed by emperors and all. So it is not actually a religion. Religion means way of God. So the meaning says way of God. But they don't have particularly a system like is there in Islam, in Christianity, in Hinduism. Oh, so I would request you, you can repeat the thing of my talk to your family members. And I believe that the ethics, many of the ethics, a majority of the ethics meant in Shintoism is also followed in Islam. About the good practices, about being kind, about being loving, not to know, all this is common. So you, so you, based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Imran, chapter 3 or 64, Ta'ala come to common terms as we ascend you, you try and win over your family members. Sister, I would like to ask you that do you believe there is one God? Yes. Do you believe that worshipping idols is wrong? Idol is wrong. Very good. Idol worship is wrong. Sister, do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah. There are minimum two things required for anyone to become a Muslim. First is believe that there is no God. To believe that there is no God. No God except Allah. Second, to believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. And I have come to me, you believe in both. That means you are a Muslim. So what do you like to say it in Arabic? <laughs> what do you like to say it in Arabic? Uh, that there is no God but Allah. No God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger Listen, of Allah. I say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Uh, no. Are you doing out of your own free will? Um, I do. Free will. No one is forcing you? No. Is there anyone bribing you, giving you money? No. MashaAllah. Well, in Islam, to force anyone is prohibited. I bear witness, I bear witness, I bear witness that, that there is no God, there is no God but Allah, but Allah and Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger is the messenger of Allah of Allah MashaAllah you are Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he guide you more and may you go into Jannah and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through you he may get the other Japanese and your family members to the correct fold of Islam okay why the human beings have been evolved. The problem is, there is a theory called as theory of evolution. Theory of evolution. There is no book called as fact of evolution. Theory of evolution, the first, it was propounded by Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin propounded this theory that human beings have been evolved, kept on changing, you know, and we came from 